is influencing infiltration. This is an important part of your matric geomorphology. But first, let's just go over some terminology. So direct flow, otherwise known as runoff, is the amount of water that runs over the surface of the ground, so none of it soaks into the ground. Indirect flow, or infiltration, is the amount of water that soaks into the soil. Okay, so the first factor that influences infiltration is the nature of precipitation. If you have hard rain that comes down fast, for example a thunderstorm, there is more likely to be runoff than there is to be infiltration. This is because there isn't enough time for the rain to soak into the soil, so therefore more runoff occurs. If you have soft soaking rain, for example, over a few hours and it's raining softly, there is more time for infiltration to occur. So the second factor that influences infiltration is the rate of evaporation. If the sun comes out after the rain has occurred and it's a windy day, there will be more chance of evaporation than there will be infiltration. But if there is overcast and it's cool after it has rained, there will be more infiltration than there will be evaporation. There will still be some evaporation, but most of the water will be infiltrated into the ground. Now the third reason is gradient. The steeper the gradient, the more runoff there is, and the less infiltration there will be, the more gentle the gradient is, the more infiltration there will be, and the less runoff there will be. The fourth factor influencing infiltration is vegetation, and this is a very important factor. The more vegetation there is, the more infiltration will occur. This is because as the water is running over the surface of the ground, the roots of the vegetation traps the water and forces infiltration to occur. If there is no vegetation, a lot of runoff will occur because there's nothing to stop the flow of the water forcing it to infiltrate. As you can see, if a lot of deforestation has taken place in an area, there will be a lot of runoff and very little infiltration. The fifth factor influencing infiltration is the amount of moisture that's already in the soil. There will be a video later on explaining exactly what the water table is. But what you need to know right now is that if there's a large amount of water in the soil, that means the soil is saturated already. So if it's very saturated, infiltration cannot occur but if there's little water in the soil so it's unsaturated a lot of infiltration can occur